Hey guys. So this video is one that I've wanted to make for a very long time. And I'm finally getting the courage to do it. I'm um, hoping I can actually upload this video. I'm gonna try to film it. And uh, we'll see. So, as you can see by the title, I um, have a stutter that I've had my whole life. Well, I don't want to say my whole life. I don't know when it started. Uh, I actually asked my mom about that. I'm like, when do you think that my stutter began? And she's like, I don't really know. And I asked her, because I was hit by a car when I was six. I was run over. It was a hit and run. And I had a head injury and it was, it was really not a good situation. And I said, could it have been then by chance? And she's like, hmm, you know what? It could have been. So it could have been the trauma, that trauma um, that started it. Um, so you're probably thinking to yourself, well, you don't have a stutter. I don't hear a stutter. <laughs> And a lot of people that I actually tell, like people that I know in real life, you know, in the world, I if they find out, they're like, well, I don't hear it, you know. Well, that's because I have developed my own techniques, if you will, on how to stop it or um, get around it, kind of, and I'll explain that. <laughs> So pretty early on, it was a lot worse than it is now when I was younger. Um, and I think that's mainly because I didn't have those techniques and I was very self-conscious about it. And I got teased horrendously <laughs> by family and friends and school and you, you know, you can imagine. <laughs> um, so a lot of times I just wouldn't talk. And to this day, I still won't talk if I feel like I'm going to stutter. I won't talk. And um, I think, okay, so it's kind of, I don't know where to begin. Um, so some of the techniques, okay, like if you're watching this video and you stutter, um, these are some of the things that help me. And I'm kind of putting this out there because I'm so self I was so self-conscious about it. I'm not as much anymore, but it's still it. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Let's just say I am. And I always felt so um, different and just like a misfit or something. I don't know. I just it was just a bad feeling. And I, you know, young people out there who have this issue, <clears throat> if any of what I, if anything that I say can help you, this, this video is worth it. Like if one person gets a little bit of confidence because of this video, it's all worth it. Oh, I had to go with some water. I was like coughing like a maniac over here. Like right now when I'm sitting here filming, I generally don't stutter much for some reason. Um, now I know, <clears throat> this is some of the techniques. I know the sounds and the words that I get stuck on. And when I'm thinking about what I, because I have to really think about what I'm gonna say before I say it. And sometimes it may, you know, you're kind of like, why do you talk so slow? Just get your words out. Well, there's a reason for it. It's because I have to think about what I'm gonna say before I say it. And um, if <clears throat> I know ahead of time that there, it's a word that I'm gonna get stuck on, I'll either change the word and make it something that means the same thing, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> so I'll just change it into something else. Or if there's no other word that I could think of, <laughs> I will um, sometimes have these little tricks, like like cough before I say it, like <clears throat> and then you know, <clears throat> and or make a sound before 
excuse me, I say the word like, um, for instance, a word that always gets me is uh, mission or there's, there's a lot of them, but like say in the sentence, I have to say mission or missionary. See, I, I'm having trouble with it. It's not too bad, but <clears throat> if I was in the middle of a sentence, excuse me, if I know the word mission or whatever, and it's in the sentence and I can't think of something else, I'll go, and uh, a mission, I'll just say, oh, uh, a mission or and a mission and kind of make it one long word or <clears throat> just kind of <coughs> mission, you know, that helps. Um, what else? Or kind of sing it. I know that sounds really silly, but if I'm like, hmm, mission, that helps. Yeah, so I notice it really happens a lot, like when I'm really excited about something and I'm trying to tell a story and I'm like trying to get the story out, I get, I get stuck a lot. When I get nervous, it happens a lot. On the phone, for some reason, I absolutely hate talking on the phone. Hate it, loathe it, because it happens a lot. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's just because I have anxiety on the phone or something. Like every job that I've had, I've had to talk on the phone and answer the phones. And I had a really stressful job once where I had to answer phone. I had, I was a medical assistant, but I had to answer the phone, you know, when the receptionist couldn't answer it or whatever. And <laughs> the doctor that I worked for, <laughs> well, actually he wasn't the one. It, the office manager was and I had we had scripts that we had to read from like we couldn't stray from the script and there was a lot of words that really I had trouble with and when I would pick up that phone I would be almost like shaking because I was so afraid I was gonna stutter and um, the office manager would be standing right right in back of me like listening to every word I said and oh my goodness it happened so much and I think that's why I'm so nervous with the phone, <clears throat> you know, I, I always try to email people or text people and we're like, I want to talk on the phone, I'm like, oh no, so, okay, and even like naming our kids, I had to sit there with the, the list of names that we really liked and I had to say, okay, am I going to get stuck on this name? Is this going to be a name that I can say or is this a name that I can't say? <clears throat> our daughter Eden um, my husband really liked Lily and Lily is a, is a word that I could get stuck on like that that could happen but we compromised and Eden was the first name and Lily is her middle name so um, like it's better if I can say Eden Lily <laughs> kind of goes flows together but yeah, and our last name, I'm not going to say it, but our last name is can, can give me trouble as well. It's like those letters that go together that give me trouble. And it's weird because some, it depends on where word is in the sentence, um, what word is before it, what word is after it, where it is in the sentence. It's very... Uh, ex exhausting it's so exhausting having a conversation when most people just talk and they're like, like oh, da -da 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 -da, and this and that and I'm sitting here like in my brain I'm like okay I want to say this is this am I gonna stutter okay wait a minute this word is not good I have to think of a different word <clears throat> yeah it could get pretty stressful and I, I used to have trouble with reading. I don't have too much trouble with reading anymore. And I think the reason for that is because when I'm reading, the word goes basically into my eyeballs, the brain straight back out in my mouth. It doesn't have to, I don't have to think it. It's just kind of automatic. So I don't know if that even makes sense. <clears throat> so reading doesn't give me too much trouble. In school, I stressed a lot about reading out loud, but, and I, I think I did struggle a little bit with it, um, 
but not too much. So yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any more tricks. Don't know. All I can tell you is it's stressful. It's very stressful. So that is the whole story. <laughs> and the good thing about making YouTube videos is if I stutter, I can always edit it out. <laughs> I haven't really stuttered this video. Uh, and I usually don't because like I said, I, I can think about what I'm going to say and I can say it and I, you know, if it's a word I'm going to get stuck on, I just don't say the word. So leave me a comment below if this is something that you struggle with or you know somebody um, who has a stutter. Um, but I even thought about, there's this treatment that I've read about where you get uh, um, uh, like a hearing aid type device, but what it does is it takes your voice and repeats it back to you in your ear, like on a delay. So it's like a second later, the same words. And that distracts the brain or something. Um, so that you just talk naturally. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. It's expensive and that's why I haven't looked into it any further. I mean, I, I saw this years ago. I don't even know if it exists anymore, but <clears throat> pretty interesting. So there's other treatments out there. I don't know. I'm <laughs> I just kind of dealt with it myself and but there are times when I get really bummed out about it, to say the least. And it's weird because it's it seems like the changes of season, it gets worse. Like if <clears throat> we have like summer, which I'm in South Florida, it's summer most of the time. But if all of a sudden we get a cold snap and it's just like cold or cool, I should say, it's I get it gets worse like the changes of season is really bizarre <laughs> I don't know what that's all about um, but anyway that's all I got guys if you got any if you have a stutter and you have any tips yourself that I should know about leave them below and I hope this helped you um, if you have any questions go ahead and leave them for me and um, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I love you all. God bless. Bye.